everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how can you use ChatGPT in Python. So there are multiple ways to interact between these two components, but we, in this particular session, we are going with session token. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go and open this URL, which is chat.openai.com slash chat. And you need to do a login here. Once you are logged in, we can we are ready to go and start our implementation part. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to install the required module. So I'm simply saying pip install pychatgpt. Give it a few seconds and it will kick off. So for me, I have already installed it. That's why it is saying requirement already satisfied. But if you are doing it for the very first time, it will go ahead and start the installation for you, which will take a few seconds close to 20 to 30 seconds. Okay, so once this is done, the next important thing is importing the module. So I will quickly say from PyChatGPT, import ChatGPT. Okay, now as I said that we are doing uh, using token, so let's create a variable over here and later on we will see how we can utilize or grab this variable. So next thing we will say, we will do is we need to create an instance of chat gpt which will take token as a, par a parameter so let's pass in token here and once this is done it's simply we need to read the response by making a call to send message and inside this send message we need to pass our prompt whatever we are interested in so let's say we are interested in a tagline for a barber shop. So get me a tagline for barber shop. So let's go with the simplest example here. And then we need to get this printed. So rather than entire response, I will grab only the message part here. Okay, so these are the just few lines of code. Now the only thing remaining is token. So for grabbing the token, you need to go back to your browser wherever you have logged in this chat GPT and open your developer tools. So depending on your browser, you may have different different shortcuts. So otherwise, if you are with Chrome, you can also go and click on inspect. Go on, go to application and on the left hand side under cookies, you can see and URL chat.openai.com. So here you can select this particular token. So secure next auth session token. So just grab this particular value. Make sure that you are grabbing only the value and not the entire thing. And we need to paste it over here. Once it is done, we are good to go. And we can give it a try. Let's run the application. Okay, so in the output, you can see that we have received a response, a cut about the risk. So this is what chat GPT is saying. Let me quickly paste this line over there and see. So I will close this particular thing. Oops, I forgot to take this. So you can see that we received exactly the same response. So it means we are interacting with the same components. So I hope you enjoyed this video and do watch my next video if you want to know how what are the various ways to interact with ChatGPT apart from the session tokens. If you really enjoyed watching this, make sure to subscribe it and show a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.